Before I say anything, I'd like to just say that this video is dedicated to panda paws. Thank you so much for the idea of what to draw. I was having like severe artist's block, if that's a thing. Um, and he suggested I draw a character lake. So that's what I'm gonna do. This was like based on this one photo I found off of looking at Google, at Google of like this lady looking off of the cliff. So I was like, mm, I like that, but I don't like the lady on the cliff. So I'm gonna replace it with something much more interesting. I don't know why, but like little boys with fishing ro fishing rods have always been just like more interesting to me than some lady, you know, standing with a victory pose on the top of a cliff. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, it could be because I grew up when DreamWorks was getting really big. Like, you know, like DreamWorks was like huge when I was like, it was, it was like the beginning when I was like a kid, like a kid kid. I was in like that perfect demographic for DreamWorks to like happen. Like everybody goes on and on about Shrek, but let me tell you something, okay? My first introduction to DreamWorks was Chicken Run. And that movie, I was hooked. I was obsessed with Chicken Run. I was completely, I was absolutely obsessed with Chicken Run. And I think it's because when I was a kid, we visited, uh, we visited London. Um, I'm American, by the way. And like, while we were there, all I would watch all day long was like Wallace and Gromit. That was all I would watch all day long. My parents were going out to get fish and chips. I'm watching Wallace and Gromits, <laughs> you know? So like, I just like, I loved the animation style of Chicken Run, and I think I just, I connected that with Wallace and Gromit because Wallace, you know, is basically the husband there. And I'm just like, yes, this has to be the way. Um, so yeah, Wallace and Gromit. So I, I don't know. I think that's like the first time I ever saw the, uh, yeah, that is, that has to be like the first time I ever saw the, um, the fishing rod, the kid with the fishing rod on the moon. And, uh, I've always just liked it. It's cool. It's like, it's the chill way where it's like, you're kind of hopeful, but you're kind of not hopeful. So basically that's why I decided to go with the kid with the fishing rod. Plus it makes it a lot easier to have him listening to music of some sort. Um, I'm horrible with ears. I really want to work on that. If any of you know any good ear videos, <laughs> that I should just swing by to work on some ear anatomy. Just link it down below. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty much all there is to it for this photo. Thank you so much, Pawsworth, for uh, suggesting that I draw Crater Lake. It was actually really a lot more relaxing than I thought it would be, and uh, it was nice. It was nice. Um, I'm very happy that I was able to do it. <laughs>